Hello everyone, this is your girl CJ Faye back again with segment seven. Hey guys, you know we've been talking about grief. And last week that when I shared with you, I was sharing with you unpredicted grief or unexpected grief, a grief that comes out of nowhere. Well, today we're going to carry on in that vein of the the unexpected, unpredicted type of grief and where it can lead. Um, I shared with you um, a story of my sister that died in her sleep and how it affected me. But not only did it affect me, it affected my entire family. My other siblings, I have two brothers and another sister. Um, So my mother gave birth to five children. Speaking of mothers, that's where we want to focus today, on mothers. Hmm. Well, my mother, when my sister died, it put my mother in a whirlwind. Hmm. And that whirlwind caused a lot of heartache that I saw in my mother that I would pray that she would be delivered from. However, when I shared with you of how I was going through, I couldn't really see my mother's hurt at that time. It, but later on, I saw it. And as I went through grad school, learning about grief, because many of you know that I am a grief counselor and a hospice chaplain and working with death and dying, is never knew that I would be called to do this, but I'm so glad that I am, because you have to be called. You can't just do it. Mm-mm. If you're not called, baby, <laughs> it will suck you in depression and heaviness, neither here nor there. My mother, when she was going through her grief, a lot of times we like to self medicate to numb the pain of the grief. We like to. Um, we find ourselves doing things that we wouldn't imagine that we would be doing. My mother was a nurse for many, many, many years. And um, when my sister died, it changed her whole mindset. And again, when I went back to school and got my master's in uh, counseling crisis response trauma, specializing in grief, I learned how grief would tear up the mind. When my sister died, my mom's whole mindset was altered. The depression that had her bound, she found herself in a place where she could not come out. Um, she started self-medicating. Uh, she would take pain medication because of her back um, that she injured in her career as a nurse. And then she would have a drink with the pain medication, which just totally did not mix. And so my mom ended up suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. The two go hand in hand. And when she got to the point, she could no longer take care of herself. I found out so much about trauma and grief and how grief can and will derail the plans of God for your life. Trauma will and can derail the plans of of God for your life, but God says, no, I want to do something different right here. 
We don't want to allow trauma and grief to derail God's plan because God gives us a hope and a future in him in spite of what grief brings because remember in other segment segments we talked about how grief not only comes at the point of death but grief comes with the divorce grief comes with natural disasters grief comes with losing of a job grief comes with any change of life grief shows up So grief is not just related to death, although in this segment today, we're going to be sharing it from a death standpoint of what my sister, unexpected, unpredictable grief did in my mother. Now, this is going to be probably a couple more parts because I'm only going to keep it limited. So I want you to stay tuned for the next segment. However, I'm going to share this one part. Remember, I told you she started self-medicating. And in the self-medication, it altered her mind where she could no longer feed herself. She could no longer dress herself. My mom would always dress impeccable. Hair had to be in place. Everything had to be in place when she walked out that door. She got to the point where She didn't even know how to put the right shoe on the right foot. That was the most heartbreaking thing that I could see in grief. And I took care of my mother along with my siblings. But baby, I tell you today, Don't allow grief to alter the core and the course of who you are. Because God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And as I sit here this morning, I want to share with you when God said for us to comfort all those who mourn. And not only that. He says that in 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us. I'm going to stop right there. Even though it says he comforts us in tribulation. Tribulation is a part of grief. Tribulation is related to trauma. Tribulation is related in so much aspects of our lives because God said that we will go through the tribulation. However, sometimes it's hard to see our way out of the tribulation and God wants us to see our way out as he lead and guide us through the pathway of deliverance from grief. I'm going to pray. Stay tuned for the next segment, segment eight, where I talk a little bit more about what grief did and can do in the lives of our loved ones and how we can recognize it to be able to help them. Not only to help them, but guide them in a direction to seek the help that they need. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like you and me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see, and I see, I see you, God says I see your hurt, I see you. 
Grief wants to blind us, but God wants to remind us how amazing his grace is for each of us. Father God, we love you. We praise you and we worship you, Lord God. And we thank you that we could take hold of your word. That you, God, are a merciful God. And that you give us beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. We thank you that the heaviness is being lifted off of everyone who is suffering in grief. Thank you for being almighty God, the lover of our soul and the lifter of our head. And thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit to comfort us in our time of grief. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Father. And we give you all glory and honor. It's in the almighty name of Jesus we do pray. Amen.